A lot of life involves finding the balance between extremes. Hi everybody, my name is Greg Fable and this is my podcast, Something I Learned Yesterday, where I take one issue, often from the world of publishing, and try to explain it in three or four minutes. I was playing around with the concept, there's a fine line between this and that, the other day. This is new for me, so I'm going to try this out. Let me know what you think. There's a fine line between being data-driven and losing touch with the people behind the numbers. The phrase data-driven is overused. It's actually very easy to be misled by data. I'll post a link to an article below on that subject. Here's a quote from Chip and Dan Heath. Data are just summaries of thousands of stories. Tell a few of those stories to help data seem meaningful. I'm sorry, to help make the data meaningful. That's a good point, but what I especially like is that it requires you to make sure your interpretation of the data lines up with reality. Here's a quote adapted from W. Edwards Deming. Without data, you're just another person with an opinion, but data without understanding is just noise. There's a fine line between being a visionary leader and an out-of-touch dreamer. When does something move from being deep and insightful to just being crazy? Uh, Thomas Edison said, vision without execution is hallucination. It's another twist on that same concept. There's a fine line between an inclination to action and being a bull in a china shop. An inclination to action is a good quality. You don't want people who are content to just sit around waiting. At the same time, you have to look before you leap. Uh, Alfred North Whitehead said, the art of progress is to preserve order amid change and to preserve change amid order. That's an interesting one to think about. Here's the next one. There's a fine line between attention to detail and being a micromanager. It's very possible to be aware of the details of a project without making sure everything is done the way you want it to be done. George Patton says, don't tell people how to do things. Tell them what to do and let them surprise you with their results. Theodore Roosevelt said, the best executive is the one who has sense enough to pick good men to do what he wants done and self-restraint enough to keep from meddling with them while they do it. All right, here's the next one. There's a fine line between standardization and stifling creativity. This reminds me of a personal anecdote. I was riding with my dad in a rental car one time and he couldn't find the switch for the wipers or something. He said there should be a law that every car made in America has to have the wipers in the same place, which makes sense from one point of view, but it doesn't allow car makers to innovate and come up with new ideas that work better. Uh, Douglas Bader said rules should be guidelines, not straight jackets. And Bill Gates, this is paraphrased, efficiency is important, but it's the creative breakthroughs that drive real progress. And here's the last one in this series. There's a fine line between striving for excellence and being paralyzed by perfection. <laughs> One of my favorite sayings is, perfection is the enemy of done, which is uh, some apologies to Voltaire who said, perfect is the enemy of good. And then Salvador Dali had said, have no fear of perfection, you'll never reach it. <laughs> so those are some thoughts for today. I hope that was helpful. If there's some way I can help you with your business, please give me a call. You'll see my contact information on the next page. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.